Hey friend, um, it's been an amazing last eight months, six months of that being in full-time ministry. And, um, you know, the first part of it was just being obedient. I'm going to be short with this. So I hope that you'll watch it to the end, just a couple minutes. Um, I was told by the Lord to give away my businesses and to go and raise funds for a ministry that I knew I had a passion for, and that's athletes and students and teachers and coaches. And I didn't know that it was the only county in the state of Florida that didn't have a full-time ministry person to lead the fellowship of Christian athletes for Sumter County. And so I was just obedient and God showed up and we saw signs, wonders, and miracles. I also didn't know that there was 60 to 75 homeless students that go to school in this County that God allowed us to feed every single week in the schools. And um, without that, some of these kids wouldn't have eaten and or been hydrated. It's, um, it's humbling. We had over 200 plus salvations in the last six months in these schools. We had over 200 kids go to camp. And we had over close to 50 coaches go to camp and we and and we had just from Sumter County alone um we had almost 60 between coaches and athletes go to camp so i was told that those things just don't happen in the first 6 months of ministry so but without the support of donors it just won't happen. So in this monthly newsletter, you're going to see a summation of all of that, but without funds, we can't do it. Uh, FCA has a standard uh, with the schools after 70 years of, you know, you have to raise a certain amount of support to be able to go in and feed and give Bibles. We're the second largest distributor of Bibles in the world next to the Gideons now. And so um, one of our directors has offered a match. Uh, so until August the 12th, any funds that we bring in is matched. So some of you, you've already given monthly if you raise your monthly offering twenty five dollars seventy five dollars a hundred he will match that for the whole year not just for that month but for the whole year so if you've been giving a hundred and you give 125 that's 125 times 12 times two so if you give a one-time gift which just in the last couple of weeks we've had a church give 2,500. I've had another church give 1,200. Those are doubled. So I just want you to ask you to pray and, uh, ask, you know, ask the Lord if you're to raise your giving, if you know people that you think would want to be a part of what we're doing. Cause what I've learned is, is that I'm amazed at the feedback that I get from our donors and the, the, the joy and the blessings in their life that they're getting from giving to a ministry that's making a massive impact in the community. Um, I'm so overwhelmed by it. I can't even, I can't even believe everything that God has done because of saying yes, none of it would have happened. You know, it was faith over fear, you know, and, uh, but without finances, none of that happens. So, um, if you want to reach out to me or to Lisa, um, about giving, there'll be a link in here to give, but we want to have more conversations with people also. 
So I want to thank you if you've already given. If you haven't given, I just ask you that you pray and be obedient. If that's nothing, the most important thing that you can do for us is pray. You know, we don't have an expectation of who's going to give and who's not going to give. We just trust God. And so um, that's all we can ask of you is to pray and be obedient with whatever God tells you. You know, I've been, I've been a giver since I was 11 years old when I understood what giving meant. Um, and I believe that that's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. And so if you want to be a blessing, click the link in the giving app and give. If you've been giving and you want to increase that, uh, you can reach out, like I said, to me and Lisa, and we'll, we'll teach how that we have, to, like I said, till August 12th. We're going to obviously continue on after that because a lot of people who gave last year will be giving again. And so we want to be able to do a lot as feeding 60 homeless students every week. And, you know, um, the, the, the salvations and the camps and stuff and the, the food that we're going to provide for kids to eat and to have fellowship with one another and the students and the teachers, it's, it's been miraculous. Um, I've now built relationships with all of the principals, all of the athletic directors. Um, I was just able to send one of the athletic directors of one of the local schools to a vacation and he hadn't had one since 2016. And it was an FCA event that he came back and told me that it was one of the best times that him and his wife had had together in a decade. So just pray, be obedient. And uh, I just bless you in the name of Jesus for being uh, even whether you're a friend or a family member or somebody that we've known for a long time or, or just someone that's uh, supported us over the years in prayer. I just bless you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. God bless you all. Thank you for listening. Um, and I appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.